What is happening guys, Mike here, Modern Man TV. Welcome back to my channel for an all new product review. I am so excited to dive into this one. I've been waiting to do this one for many weeks now. So grab a seat, grab a drink, grab whatever you need and let's get started. Okay, so let's dive right into this video. I've been walking with this super awesome cane these days, so don't mind this guy. He'll just be right down here chilling. And today we are going to be talking about Pomp's Not Dead. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is a brand that I have been wanting to review for a long time. I have seen Pomp's Not Dead around the pomade community. But before this video, I had never actually tried any of the products. So when Edwin, who is the owner and operator of Pomp's Not Dead, emailed me, said he was going to send me a couple pomades to try out, I was so excited. I was finally able this past week to try both of these pomades out. And throughout this video, I'm just going to give you little tidbits of information. I'm not going to do the whole list thing in this video this time because I think it's a little boring to just go through the same pieces of information and in the same videos. I'm still going to give you the same info, but we're just going to kind of keep it relaxed today. For today's video, I am going to be looking at two pomades from the pomade line. The Pomp's Not Dead Original and the Pomp's Not Dead Lardage. I have styled with both of them in preparation for this video, and so we're going to start by taking a closer look at both pomades, and I'll wrap this up with some final thoughts. Pomp's Not Dead OG comes in a silver 4 ounce tin. It is handmade in small batches from the great state of Texas. The side label shows us the ingredients and the hold level, which is original or medium. Here's a look at the pomade itself and I can definitely tell you it is as creamy as it looks. Next we have Lardage which is their firm hold bacon grease. This too comes in 4 ounces and a silver tin and features a nicely designed black label. Here's a look at the pomade itself. It features a nice creamy white color and a smooth vanilla blend fragrance. Okay so now that we've taken a closer look at the pomade itself, let's talk a little bit about Pomp's Not Dead OG. The original pomade surprised the crap out of me, to be honest with you. It comes out of the jar like butter. Scoops out super soft, spreads through the hair, no problem at all. It's super creamy, it's light going into your hands, light into the hair. Combing is a breeze. What this pomade brings to you is this specialized control. It gave me full control over the style of my hair and how I wanted it to go. Now this pomade was designed as a medium hold and I've heard a lot of people say it's their go-to medium. I agree with that statement that it's a medium. I also agree that this can easily be anybody's go-to medium. What I really liked about it was that it's a medium that doesn't lose its hold throughout the day. I was honestly happy with the style that I had after multiple hours of the product being in my hair. The second thing I also noticed about this product is that if you do choose to restyle or reshape, you're able to do so. That slickness does not go away. I also really appreciated the fragrance. I couldn't really pinpoint it because I'm really not good with identifying fragrances, but I really like it. Had, it had this cologne, musky, masculine smell to it. So now that we've finished up the OG, let's talk about Lardage. For those of you that like a good, serious, heavy pomade, this is right up your alley. This is the firm hold version of bacon grease. So I knew it was going to be a firm hold pomade, but I threw some in my hair. I used about three scoops and it was so slick and easy to throw through my hair and create this slick contour. It was like no effort, but my hair is locked. 
it's not locked in the sense that it hardened up or anything like I have it in my hair right now actually and I can touch it and I can still move it around but it's not going anywhere the fragrance on this guy was like this mild vanilla fragrance and I'm not a huge fan of vanilla that's not a huge deal for me I could I could really only smell it when I came when it came out of the jar and and speaking of coming out of the jar i was expecting that this being a firm hold pomade it was going to be really hard to scoop out but for a heavy firm hold oil based pomade it came out very easily so my hat's off to edwin for all the work he's done on this line i think it's awesome i was really glad to finally get a chance to take a look at these i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative if you want to check out Pomp's Not Dead, I will put a link to his Etsy shop in the description down below. Before I sign off for this week, let's talk about what's coming up next week. Next week is going to be an all kitchen and food themed week here on the channel. I hope that you will still stick around and come back and watch the videos even though they're not hair themed because I still think that there's some content there that you guys will enjoy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got some stuff coming up you guys won't even believe. I can't wait to share it all with you. I'm hoping that I can give you guys a little bit more details on what's to come very soon. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any of it. Until next week, I'll see you guys later.